coming up in the street. They think that, that you should be with them. They're literally five of coins, two of cups, miserable without you. Leo, let's get into your uh, April love read. Any information that you need, you can find it in my pinned comment and in my description box below. If you're cross watching for a Leo, then please switch over the roles because I could be speaking directly to you. And please do keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. You just take what's resonating for you and you leave what doesn't for another Leo or cross watcher, okay? Please also do respect the tarot and approach it with patience, an open mind and without expectations. And finally, if you don't want to miss a video, then subscribe and stay notified. Okay, so Leo, your first card out is change in direction. The changes that you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You're protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes that you desire. Wow. Um, so this is the clearing after the storm. And, you know, like for the past couple of months, thing, things have been a bit crazy in, in your reads. I'm feeling this as that there's going to be a moment where you can enjoy yourself, where you can relax, chill, um, and indulge in the things that, that you want to do. I'm also feeling as well that this potentially, with, with this being a stalk and two babies, some of you could be making preparations to welcome um, an addition into your family. Doesn't necessarily need to be children, although it absolutely can be for some of you. Some of you could be welcoming grandchildren into the family as well, but this could also be like pets and, you know, things like that, because family means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, right? Um, I do feel that additions are coming your way. This is also a really, I'm getting a very uh, feminine energy off of this one, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're sitting there going, well, but, but I'm a man. That's fine, it still applies to you. Um, it's just the feminine principle of the energies, okay? Which is all about nurturing, receptivity. Um, really, with this one, I'm getting the impression, Leo, that you're being asked to look after yourself. I think that's the main message that's coming through. Because a lot of yous do tend to nurture everyone else. Um, for, any, for anyone who is who has been close to a Leo will tell you, Leos are actually that they're really gentle in nature, very, very loving, very nurturing, um, very misunderstood as well. That you know that there is a lot of misrepresentation that that is out there about Leos. If a Leo cares for you, there is no mistake in it. So Leo, with this one. It's time for you to nurture yourself. This isn't the kind of redirection that can feel disruptive. It's not a disruptive force. That This is a gentle redirection, a gentle nudge down the correct path. Mm. Okay. Also, for some of you, I'm feeling that particular energy as someone wanting to look after you, someone wanting to nurture you, someone wanting to um, <laughs> give you a big hug, you know, really sort of wrap you up so that you're nice, safe and warm. This one wants to come out. Okay, nine of coins reversed. What else is coming towards Leo in love, please? I'm going to clarify that one, okay? It's just the way that it came out was a bit odd. The Ten of Cups. Oh, I think I see what this is saying. Ah, right. I'll just be back in a second. We've got a card on the floor. 
Okay, Nine of Swords. That that one landed on the floor. Um, hmm. I'm going to pull your cards first and then I'm going to get into it. Wow, Seven of Swords. That came out off balance. Right, let's just do this as I remember it came out off balance. Have another three, please, for Leo. Right, so the Zodiacs, you've got Virgo energy with the Nine of Coins, Pisces with the Ten of Cups, Virgo again with the Knight of Coins, the Chariot is Cancerian, uh, Gemini with the Nine of Swords, Aquarius with the Seven of Swords, Aquarius again with the Star, Eight of Coins is Virgo and the Seven of Cups Scorpion with the Empress. Yeah, the Divine Feminine Principle of Receptivity, uh, which, which ties in with that feminine energy I was feeling for your change of direction. Ace of Cups, wow, and Justice, okay. So the, the dominant signs for anybody that's interested is uh, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, uh, Gemini, Pisces. Okay, that, that's the dominant ones. But the reality is you, you could literally be dealing with anybody or like they, they could even be character traits as well. Okay, so just keep an open mind. Uh, the Empress with the Ace of Cups and Justice. So I'm feeling this particular combination as new, like new love. You've got divine guidance under there with temperance, which reinforces this message about how Leo, you're currently being divinely guided and protected. Specifically when it comes down to your relationships at this point in time as well. You're seeing uh, any any sort of karmic connections, you're seeing them for, for what they truly are or were. And you, you've got new love here that's coming in. It does feel new. It really, really does. Let's, let's take a closer look. You're being asked to be uh, receptive to this new love. It, it feels like... Um, it feels like it, it's got that sort of ace of coins vibe to it where it's like literally a gift from the universe the, the, the universe is trying to give you this gift and the, the, they're wanting you to accept it tell us about that ace of cups please for leo ace of cups for leo thank you the ten of cups okay yeah, there, there's something about completing a family. You've got the Ten of Cups out twice now. Uh, completing a family. So, yeah, some someone is definitely expecting a new addition into their family. Whatever the word family means for you is what it pertains to. Okay. As I said before, it, it could be animals. It could be the friends that you make. Uh, you, you know, you, you could be someone that um, sees their friends as their family, you know, that sort of thing. Whatever the word family is for you, that is what's going to be highlighted throughout the month of April. Okay, you, your family is at the forefront. There's something super exciting, really, really important that's happening within your family this month. It's beautiful energy. It really genuinely is really, really beautiful. Um, this, this, um, like this, this happiness that, that comes from this situation, that the, the ripple effect is going to be felt. Tell us about the nine of coins reversed, please, for Leo. I feel that that's saying that you're not going to be, for anybody who is single currently, you're not going to be single much longer. And then it's clarified with death in the hanged man. So scorpion, Pisces, energy. More water energy, so emotions, yeah. Um, things really are changing up for you, Leo, massively. 
So if if you were closed off to love or just closed off to um, socializing, it's time, it's time, you know, it, it's time for you to uh, come out of your, your little, uh, I, I want to say cave. So, so some of you have been hiding yourselves away someplace, not really socializing, nothing like that. So it, it's time for you to come out of your cave and to feel that sunshine on your face. Okay, the hanged man is a new perspective. So you're being asked to not be so rigid. You are a fixed sign. Don't be so rigid and, and, and look at this from a new perspective. You've got all these positive changes happening around you. Um, wallow in it. Wallow in it. Enjoy it. Enjoy the attention. Enjoy the love that's coming your way. Some of you have been hurt so badly, especially with this Seven of Swords. Like the, the way that that came out, it came out off balance. So some of you, I'm looking at this combination here. So, some of you have been um, obviously, yes, really hurt in the past. You were telling yourself that it didn't really bother you anymore, but it kind of still does because you kind of still were hiding yourself away. Um, pushing, pushing away the prospect of love in fear of getting hurt again. You're being asked to trust this, that this new love, you're definitely being asked to trust it. I'm getting the impression that somebody is trying to, or at least wants to sweep you off your feet as well. But they, they know, they know that there's some kind of trust issues here that, that you have. And they know the reasons why as well. You've been waiting a long, long time for this, Leo, with that Knight of Coins. A long time to feel like you're part of something again. And tell me about the chariot, please, for Leo. There could have been like a, a bad experience with a, a Cancerian, a Virgo or an Aquarius that um, left its mark on you, but you, it, it's like you, you don't want to focus on the fact that, um, that they did leave a mark on you. And you certainly don't want to give them the satisfaction of thinking that they had that sort of effect on you, where you would never trust anybody ever again, you know, because of the shit that they put you through. You definitely don't want them to think that they've got that sort of power. I'm talking about the chariots. Thank you. Eight of wands. Okay. Possible that a Cancerian is about to reach out and contact you, Leo. You could be stressed out and worried about something that a Cancerian has said or something that they will say. Um, concerned in case someone's lying, full of shit, something like that. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please, for Leo. Thank you, the Eight of Swords, yeah. Someone, someone's gonna say something to you, Leo, that's gonna get you a bit stuck in your head. Um, again, trust issues, like, oh, it does feel like someone's playing games with you. It really does. Um, it, it's, it's almost like they're, they're trying to remind you, I'm still here. Don't you forget, I'm still here. Um, but you really should forget about them, Leo. You really should. The, the star, the eight of coins, the seven of cups. Um, it's, it's like they're trying to keep you confused. Somebody, oh, that's really specific. Somebody could be sending you a message from prison, Leo. That's going to be super specific for some of you. Asking you for your help. 
probably to bail them out of trouble. If they're not in prison, then they're in some other kind of trouble and they're asking for you to bail them out of trouble. Somehow. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords, please, for Leo. Eight of Swords. Why is this here for Leo? Thank you. Three of Wands. Three of Wands, that's like... Um, it could be somebody at a distance. It could be someone who, who's... Um, a foreigner? I'm getting the word foreign. Someone from a foreign place asking you for trouble? Listen, if, if someone's asking you for trouble from a foreign place, it's probably a scam, especially with that Seven of Swords. Okay. So, so don't, don't fall for it. Don't, don't believe them. Think before you act. Think before you do anything. Some someone is definitely asking you for trouble, but it's gonna asking you for trouble. That's an interesting uh, mistake. Someone's definitely asking you for help, but it's gonna get you into trouble if you do help them. So you're better off staying out of this, whatever this is, Leo. You tell me about the star, please, Leo. I'm going to star. Okay, Queen of Wands, Four of Cups. The Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. It's it's like huh. <laughs> definitely threatened by your confidence and your healing and, and the fact that you seem the fact that you seem unbothered by them is bothering them so it's like someone someone's trying to fuck with your head here leo because they see that they see now that that you socializing again you're you're genuinely feeling super happy and excited about all of this positive vibe energy changes around you there, there's someone in the shadows who's like why is leo so happy you know why is it any of their business why you're so happy are you not entitled to be happy Three of Swords, Three of Cups, Four of Cups. Yeah, they, they can't stand the fact that you're happy. Someone doesn't like to see you happy. I'm getting the word star of the show as well with Eight of Coins. Someone, some of you could be out in the public eye with the, with the star and the Eight of Coins. You could be out in the public eye. That could be your job. You could be doing something that, that requires you having an audience. pissed off that, that you're getting all of the attention when in their heads you're supposed to still be shriveled up someplace in, in that in that cave somewhere what the fuck okay it's um it's a bit of a dark energy around you there leo Someone trying to piss on your chips. Five of coins. Yeah. That is not your energy, Leo. That five of coins is not you. It is not you. That's someone else. Two of cups. Boom. There's your answer, Leo. There's your answer. You got temperance, page of swords. They're fucking watching you. They're watching you. Listen, Leo, if you are out in the public eye, um, keep this sort of happy-go-lucky aura about you, okay? 
because it's pissing them off even more. But also it's helping you to, to, to lift your spirits as well. You're refusing to allow this individual to drag you down into their misery. You've got the Moon, Temperance, Page of Swords, Five of Coins, Two of Cups. Someone's seen that you've got brand new love coming in. They've seen that this individual is more likely than not going to end up being your spouse. That's how serious this new love is someone else doesn't like it they think that, that you should be with them they're literally five of coins two of cups miserable without you and because they're miserable without you they're sitting there spying on you looking at you probably late at night with the moon and the nine of swords and going leo doesn't seem bothered they're trying to make you as miserable as, as how they feel. And they're wondering why you're not. Well, you're not because, Leo, you've got your life to be getting on with. What a strange energy. The moon, the six of wands, yeah. Eight of cups, mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Weird. I don't quite know what to make of that one, Leo. The best advice I can give to you in that particular situation is keep focusing on the new love. You keep doing you. That's the best advice that I can give to you. It, it's going to... They, they're going to send you a message, Leo. They're definitely going to send you a message to, to try and confuse you. But I think you're going to act it like you're unbothered though, which is going to confuse them even more. What else for Leo, please? A weird read. <laughs> hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic options not showing your hand and gambling yeah yeah you're not showing your hand exactly you're gonna keep them guessing what else for leo please thank you photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia make new memories so your your focus is on making new memories and someone else is focused on you what they used to have what they no longer have and feeling nostalgic and then you've got cheers new beginnings anniversary milestone date celebration meeting new people and happiness yeah yeah you've you've got your confidence back leo someone thought that they broke you um wow okay okay then they they obviously don't know leo that well if someone sat there and thought that they'd broken a leo okay then that, that's all i'm saying to that one i'm just gonna leave that there what else for leo please <laughs> okay now oh uh, dear dreams share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality learn let love show you how to learn from each other and openness be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships i feel that this is more about the open book you can read that individual like an open book that they're not exactly a mystery they're really not you read them like an open book. You can predict their next move as well. Yeah. Um, basically, with that situation, you have learnt, or you specifically, have learnt everything that you needed to learn from that experience. Now it's time for you to focus on the new. 
and to make your dreams a reality with the beautiful new connection that I can see as clear as day in your read. But like that, that was your overall energy. Focus on that, okay? What else, please, for Leo? Birthday. A significant birthday holds the answer to your question. And then you've got a business venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or a career opportunity. Interesting. So there's potentially, Leo, potentially you could make a lot of money. You see that, you see with, with all the, with all the gold. That's you and your family being super happy because like you, you literally have everything, everything that you could ever need. Like you and your family is not going to go without. You've got everything that you could possibly want. There's something about a birthday. Um, I'm trying to think what season are we currently in? We are about to approach Taurus season. Your birthday's not for another couple of months yet, so I don't feel that it pertains to your birthday. Um, someone close to you. It could be like, say, say if you've got children with this individual, something could happen on your child's birthday. This individual could cause trouble at a child's birthday party because they're, they're, they're feeling jealous and spiteful that the attention's not on them. A significant birthday holds the answer to your question. Hmm. I, I would keep an open mind with that one, Leo. else please for Leo <laughs> a wise woman once said fuck this shit and she lived happily ever after yeah it's you getting your priorities straight You're taking the higher ground. You, you, you're not putting up with any bullshit. If someone's misread you, they've misread the situation and they've misread um, what you would do to protect your family. They, they've misunderstood the situation. It's like they, they, they've got it in their head that they know you and that they know how to play you. But the reality is they don't actually know the first thing about you. And this, 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 this is the problem. Well, it's a problem for them. Okay, so we're going to conclude this read with a couple of initials. Again, it's not going to resonate for absolutely all of you. You have some initials, please, for Leo. Who is it that Leo's dealing with, please? Thank you. Intellectual. Yeah, you're smart. You're smart. You, you've you've already read the situation. You already know how how they're going to react. You know how this is going to play out. funny i'm getting that it's funny that they think that they have the audacity to try and f with you that's funny sexy so you've got all of these qualities intellectual funny 
and sexy. It's like literally you're showing up as the full package. Um, and, and they're the ones that try to destroy your confidence. Really? How's that worked out for them? You've got the letter Q. So some of you need to realise that you're a fucking queen and that you should straighten your crown. else for Leo, please. Witty. So we're not really getting initials here, are we, Leo? Witty. Someone sharp. We've got O. X. Someone's X. Literal X. Yep. H. You have one more for Leo, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking. I'm, I th th there's this thing. Is <laughs> is showing me someone phoning someone else and just just start starting a conversation straight away and really getting into it, and then the other person going, mm "Hmm, who are you again?" <laughs> you know, it's that kind of reaction that, oh, wow, man, I, I wouldn't want to be that individual. That's all I'm going to say. You've got eyes and tattoos. Someone, someone's got like a tattoo near their eye, like on, on the side of their eye. Could be a jail tattoo. You could be dealing with someone who is constantly in and out of jail as well. I'm gonna have to leave that one there because it, it's just getting a bit strange for me. Right, so if you would like to book a reading that is more catered towards your specific needs, then you can place your booking at phoenixkiataro.com. Thank you so much to everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed and supported my channel. It genuinely does help me to get the messages out to those who need to hear it. Thank you so much for watching and we shall speak again soon. Bye.